I'll just put the laser light on just because I love, <laughs> I love it. Yeah? <laughs> okay, let's move forward with the video. We're going to tell you what that's about. See you in a minute. Today we are on back uh, unboxing our AEG oven. Okay? Now, this is what you get for your money to look at. Now, if we open it up inside here, we'll show you. This is just a couple of bits of cardboard to safeguard everything. So, this is what you get inside here. You have your shelving trays. I don't know what tray this is, but let's say shelving and trays it comes with. And also in this box here, we have another couple of trays. Let me try not to cause an accident. We're dropping things all over the place. And there we are. We have another two trays. Um, can I separate them? Yes, I can. So one's just plain and that one, I don't know, it's steaming your vegetable or something. Put water in the bottom, you don't want to, ah, whatever you use it for. I'm not a chef, am I? Anyway, yeah, that's what we get. So if we close this back up, kind of up, try to, want to get in there. There we go, that'll do. So if we just stick that back in there for the time being, just like that, we'll put our meat thermometer, like I said, it plugs in there, pull your tray out, stick it in your meat, see how if you reach the temperature you're supposed to reach, put that back there. To secure this to your kitchen unit now, you'd need to screw it on through there and just there. Two holes to screw it on. And our display, which is here, I can't show you that yet because obviously it's not wired up, it's not switched on, so we'll come back to that later. Now, come looking around it, there's nothing special to see, nothing spectacular to see, but just in here, you see, I've, I've undone that screw already. I'll just take that out, and there's another one there. But just because the questions was asked, being asked, where is the plug, where is the plug? So, it doesn't have a plug, so if I can get these out, just one there, no washers on them, on them, they're just as they are. See, small torque key we're using. I'm not sure what size this is because it hasn't got a, um, a written on it, but it looks about seven or eight. Yeah, so take that one out as well. All right, now once you get those out, there is your connectors, okay? And if you look on there, is that a scratch or is that something written on there? That looks like a scratch. Okay. These are your connectors. And if you look on here, there you have your live. So that would be going just there. Your neutral. That'll be going just there. And then you have your earth, which will be going just here. Now, I am not gonna advise you how to wire this thing up, but this thing, I am judging on surely by, purely by the size of the connectors that they've gotta be hardwired in, okay? So, this is where it's supposed to be going and we have a socket there. I've been told that the electrician said it should be able to run off of there fine and everything should be okay. The only other way is to hardwire it in. So what you would need or what you would use is a cable, that sort of gauge, right? Now that cable is in here already. This is what brings the power to your socket. So if you was to put a junction box on there and take the socket off, and then you hardwire straight into the box and connect straight up. All right, so I didn't tell you to do that. I didn't know why I gone through all that rigmarole. But there you go. You got your, your tools you will need. Do not do, and that's it, okay? 
Let me have a look around it. Anything else we should show you? Can show you? Nothing else at the moment. And then you get your booklet that comes with it. So you got all your instructions and everything that you'll need to work your oven efficiently. So we're just gonna put this plate back on. Now that we know where our connectors are and how to connect it, it's pretty straightforward. But before I almost missed that, this screw here, if you take that screw out, then this bit lifts up and your cable goes through there and you clamp it back down, screw it down to keep your cable secure. So there's no movement on your cable. And your cable feeds around there and comes out just there. So what you have is there, just like that, where your cable comes out. Okay, so from tradespeople's tips, if you're out there robbing people, stop doing it. Okay, so till next time, see you later.